Make sure that Bluetooth has been enabled on your mobile device. On the JWM90A, hold the BT button until the countdown timer begins. Select the JWM90A on your mobile device. Once your mobile device is paired with the system, open the JControl app. If you don't have the JControl app installed, download it for free from the App Store and iTunes for Apple devices or from the Google Play Store for Android devices. There are two ways in which to change the source input and adjust the volume on your JWM90A, either directly on the head unit itself or by using the J-Control app from your mobile device via Bluetooth. To adjust the volume on the head unit, rotate the volume knob. To do this using the J-Control app, either tap one of these arrows to quickly call up the volume controls of the zone you're currently on, or tap the gear cog and adjust the volume on each zone independently with the controls located next to each zone's name. On the right side of the head unit is a row of buttons, each pertaining to a different source input. AM for AM radio, FM for FM radio, disc for playback of a CD or DVD currently loaded into the disc tray, BT for Bluetooth streaming audio from a paired mobile device, and USB for playback of MP3 and WMA files from connected and compatible devices. The USB port can also be used to charge mobile phones, However, not enough charging current is supplied to charge tablets. The AUX button cycles through multiple auxiliary source input each time the button is pressed. The AUX sources are as follows. Front auxiliary, rear auxiliary, coaxial, optical, HDMI arc, and HDMI in. To change source inputs using the J-Control app, press on the button with the horizontal bars and tap to select the source you wish to use. Using the HDMI input on the front of the JWM90A, you're now able to easily hook up devices such as media players and game consoles to your TV without having to navigate hard to see and reach places. With your audio source input set to HDMI in, all of the audio from the connected device will play through the JWM90A within the zones that you designate. The JWM90A lets you set the backlight brightness on the LCD panel with dimmer controls. To turn the dimmer controls on, press the button labeled Dim. Press and hold to access the dimmer level menu. Rotate the volume knob to adjust, clockwise to increase, or counterclockwise to decrease. Reducing the brightness to zero will turn off the backlight completely. Press the back button when finished to save your settings and exit the dimmer menu. Letting the system sit idle will also accomplish this. Keep in mind that you can easily restore your backlight to the factory default settings by pressing the dim button at any time. This can come in handy if the brightness gets set to zero unknowingly or is forgotten about. Start setting the time by pressing the button labeled clock. The hour digit will begin blinking. Rotate the volume knob to adjust the hour. Press the volume knob, or enter, to confirm the hour and begin adjusting the minute. Rotate the volume knob as before to set the minute value. Press back to confirm your settings and exit the clock menu.